Hey guys, how are you? It's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures. I'm super excited because look what came in the mail today! Yay! My inner hue order. Um, Lumina Tarot and the Connected in Free Alchemist Oracle. Um, I cannot wait to unbox these. I haven't even taken them out of the paper yet. I took them out of the bubble wrap and the box that they came in, but we're going to do an unboxing right now. Super excited. All right, you guys, this is everything that came in the box all the way from Australia. And since my videos are usually about 15 to 20 minutes long, I've decided that I'm going to split this into two videos, one for the tarot and one for the Oracle. So we'll just go through some of the goodies that came in the box. We got a couple of thank you cards, one for the Oracle and one for the, um, and one for the tarot. So that's kind of fun. This one is signed by Lauren, I would imagine. And then this one tells a little bit about the Oracle. And then this was the book. This is, or this is the book for the, um, for the Oracle, the connected and free alchemist Oracle. And we'll flip through that when we do the Oracle. And then these are the packages. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and guess that this one is the tarot and that's the one that we are going to focus on. So I'm just going to set the other ones aside for now, along with the other little goodies. And we will go ahead and give this an open. So it's very nicely wrapped. I can feel some bubble wrap underneath there that we'll have to get through as well. There was tons of bubble wrap in the box when it came. So it was definitely wrapped with safety in mind because there's nothing sadder than, oh, yep, there it is. You can see it right through the bubble wrap. There's nothing sadder than an international package arriving damaged. And I did wait a while for this one. It kind of, I think I got caught a little bit in customs. Um, but it did take a little bit for it to come all the way from Australia to the States. Okay, so let me just work this out of up. The, there we go. Awesome. So there, I'm just going to put the bubble wrap and the paper aside. So this is the Lumina Tarot. Um, it comes in a pretty cute little box. It's definitely like a cardstock. It's not a chipboard. Um, and it's got the little doodads on the side so you can open it easy, but you don't even really need those. Um, on the back, it's got her uh, logo. And we're just going to go ahead and take the top off now. And, oh, it comes with a deck bag. Awesome. So this will be stored in a bag, it looks like, which is fine with me. Um, I actually like deck bags. If you're not going to provide a box for your bag, you should at least provide, or a, bo or, or a box for your deck, you should at least provide a bag for your deck. And that's exactly what she did here. So excellent. So that's a cute little bag. The drawstrings seem to work pretty well. It's made out of a canvas material and um, nice heavy duty cotton strings as opposed to like a ribbon or something which is really nice and that has been screen printed on that is not part of the fabric that is um, like a screen printed design right there and then we've got the book and we've got the tarot so let's take the book out oh and that's cute there's a little design underneath it's an ouroboros i don't know if you guys can see that but that's kind of really adorable so the Lumina Tarot is right here. This is an animal and people deck. It reminded me a little bit of Wild Unknown when I saw it, just like the hand-drawn borders and some of the, like the, the, um, <clears throat> the cursive. Oh, here it tells you about the suit elements. Awesome. But apparently uh, a lot of, from what everyone has said, it is so different because it is a people deck. Wild Unknown is not a people deck. It is a, um, animal deck. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. The High Priestess, some twins there, a little Gemini action going on. Um, oh, I like that, I like that bee. The Empress. So it goes through the Arcana first, which is nice. And there's some men in this deck too. I seem for, for some reason to be falling all on women, but there are, yep, here we go, the Emperor. So there are images of men as well as women, and it looks like it gives you um, a description of what's going on. And then it also gives you the shadow side, or um, probably if your card falls in reverse, is what you would read either, <clears throat> you read either, read either depending on the position in the spread, or you would read whether or not your card wound up in reverse. The Hierophant, actually there's a guy that walks up and on the street that kind of looks like him, so... He kind of creeps me out a little bit. 
honestly. So <laughs> there's that. Oh, it's a nice little um Kali action going on. Cool. And then it goes into the suits. Do do do. Oh, some foxes. The paper is really nice in this book, which is nice to see. It's it's always it's always awful to see. Oh, the the creators are right here, so that's cool. You get to see the art or the art the artists and the authors and stuff. Let me see if it has any um it has any spreads in here, any recommended spreads. There's the there is the um oh I knocked my camera a little bit. So here are the recommended. Da, 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 da. Yep, it's got a couple of spreads: a chakra spread and a uh, manifestation spread. Those are on pages eight and nine. I just keep going up. Oh, there we go. But it doesn't have the layout. That's weird. I guess you could just lay it out however you felt like it. And it tells. Oh, it has an idea for tarot journaling and stuff. So this is a nice comprehensive book, and I look forward to sitting down with it and getting to know it a little bit better. And without further ado, we have the cards packaged in a cellophane. So I'm just going to put that aside. Awesome. Trying to break through on cellophane. Oh my goodness. I don't have a scissor. Totally just use my teeth. Don't do that. It's bad for your teeth. All right. <clears throat> So we got the cellophane off and we've got a paper band. I actually found another use for my paper bands. I was just throwing away and recycling them, but I received a bunch of Llewellyn decks in the mail and they don't have ribbons or anything to take the deck out of their packaging. So I'm actually going to save this paper thing and I'm going to use it in one of those boxes. And this is the Lumina Tarot. So right away you've got the Lumina um, logos. You can't tell what's up or down on the card. So uh, meant for reversals, it seems. And the cardstock is very similar to Wild Unknown. If you're familiar with that deck, you know what the cardstock is. It's a little heavier than um, usual, than, than like a playing card. And it's got a nice matte satiny finish on it. it, it it'll shuffle really nicely. It'll move really nicely. So I look forward to using it. I keep going back to Wild Unknown in this video, and I'm only doing it because I'm very familiar with that deck. So, anywho, it says, let your intuition guide you. You are what you've been looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. Um, <laughs> just nerded out on you a little. There's nothing on the back of that except for the logos. So, I'm just going to set that aside right there. And then, here we go. Um, starts with the Fool. So, good. They're in order so far. We've got the Fool. Magician. High Priestess, Empress, Emperor, Hierophant, said guy creeps me out. Um, I'll have to get used to that. I'm going to have to force myself to look at that and not be creeped out by it. That guy has ruined it for everyone. Um, the Lovers, Chariot. I wonder how they made the decision to do people on some and animals on others. I like the horse as a chariot, though. Um, Justice. Hermit. A lot of people identify with that card. We've got strength, um, lion imagery. You see that a lot with strength. Um, the death card. That's a beautiful card for death, actually. I really like that. Temperance. The devil. Actually, I kind of like, it's really hard to see, but there's kind of like a little person in there. I'm going to have to take a look at that one a little bit closer, but that's a beautiful card. Um, the tower. I always like that. The star, the moon, sun, judgment. Ooh, I like judgment. I actually, I really enjoy this card. Um, the world. Oh, there's a death's head moth. So you better put your lotion in the basket. Awesome. And then we get to the, um, the, the suits. So here we have wands. We're just going to, I'm not going to do all of them just because... I hate it when people ruin the fun for me, but it's a very colorful, um, with very few exceptions, actually. Look at that one. That's kind of fun. Conflict, um, butting heads. Ooh, scarab beetle. I like that too, but it's a very, I well, I was going to say it was a very light suit, but apparently it's got some really dark ones in there as well. So that's kind of fun. And then we've got some cups. 
um, lots of lots of um, for for a water sign. Well, dragonflies are water. We've got some swans. Those are in the water. I was gonna say there's a lot of winged things up. Oh, crow for a water suit. Yeah, look at that. There's like all sorts of like winged creatures in. I mean, I would associate those more with air than water. So that's Im interesting imagery. I can't wait to read about how they came to that decision. Ooh, I really enjoy this. And let's see. So we're we've got the court for the for the cups. Um, okay, then we've got the swords. This is an air suit. Ooh, again with the moth. I really enjoy that. That's beautiful too. I love watercolor paintings um, to do space. I love when people paint space with watercolor. Oh my god, look at the little mousy. Super tootie. And I love this bat. And the vulture. Actually, the bat and the vulture were two of the cards that kind of made up my mind about this deck. I was like, okay. Because honestly, the people have the people are a little off for me. They're just kind of I don't know, something about, I, I just, I wouldn't, I don't know, they're, they're very um, glamorous, and they almost seem kind of out of place, they just seem very urban, very, like, boho New York City, but I think once I spend a little time with the deck, I'll probably get used to it. Ah, uh, this was another one of the cards that kind of had me be like, yeah, this deck is for me, like, he's got a, like, a bee, and then the bear. But this is a beautiful deck, and I cannot wait to work with it. So we're going to go ahead and um, switch back over to the other camera, and we're going to do a one-card draw with the tarot deck, and then I will make a second video for the Connected and Free Oracle. Okay, so now that we've got the deck unboxed, we're going to go ahead and do some shuffling, and we're going to do a one-card draw. We're going to ask um, just some general advice for the rest of the week. You know, if there are any messages or anything, anything I should know, anything, you know, what's going on. Basically, I'm treating it like it's my secretary. You know, hello, Lumina. Any messages? Hold my calls. Oh, my goodness. Move that appointment to 2 o'clock. Um, that's terrible. Your deck is not your secretary. Um, don't learn that the hard way. Uh, <laughs> okay, so right, right away, the hand over hand is going pretty well. Um, one thing I will say is that holding the card landscape is kind of big, even for my hands. Um, I've made a joke of it before, but I do have larger hands and this is really hard for me to hang on to. So, um, in the hand over hand, it's not so bad, but for rifle shuffling, actually, I wonder how this rifle shuffles, rifle shuffling will probably be a little difficult. And yes, it is. I'm having a little bit of a rough time. And then you got to get your fingers behind there. This is better. Better than the Marielle. I can't even get my fingers behind the deck to do the rifle. And that didn't turn out so well. So the cardstock is still really stiff. I think eventually I'll be able to rifle shuffle the deck. Um, but it's going to take a little breaking in. But I do see myself using this deck regularly. And I do like to rifle shuffle decks that I use on the regular. And I don't think I'll be able to hurt this deck so much. Um... It's the same kind of stock as Wild Unknown, and I've been rifle shuffling the crud out of that one, and it's holding up like a champ, so it's one of my workhorse decks. I think I could see this one becoming one of those two, though. All right, so we'll do a little more shuffling, and then I will cut the deck and ask it, um, you know, is there, oh, oh my goodness, that one just, those two just flew out at me. I'm going to pick those up. And I'm back. I just picked up those two cards off the ground. They kind of flew at me, took me by surprise, and then fell off my lap. Um, we got the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I'm going to keep this aside. Usually when cards jump out, they could be a message. So that'll be an interesting read. But that is not going to stop me from pulling the card as originally intended. I always keep, when I do a read like that, I keep... Um, the messages, the, the jumpies to the side, but I still pull the card that I had originally intended to pull because I feel like these are additional to the message, but not so much the main message. And we pulled the nine of swords, which 
yay, it's the bat, I love it, but boo, nine of swords, usually isn't a very good card. It's, well, not a good card, but it's usually, it's usually a, it's got some negative connotations. So we are going to go ahead and refer to the book. Um, so this is the book. I forgot to show you the back of the book, by the way, which is really gorgeous. Um, and we're going to flip to nine of one, the nine of swords first. Do, do. Okay. Where are we going? Nine of swords. So again, in the book, you've got the picture of the card. Oh, this book is new and it's stiff. So you've got the picture of the card and then you've got the, um, description. You've got key phrases up top and like underneath the title. And then you've got a paragraph about what the card's about. And then you've got, um, shadow meanings. So I'm going to, there's a lot here. So I'm just going to kind of paraphrase. Um, let's see. So dark thoughts lead to a heavy heart and it's a card of excessive worry and anxiety. Um, it, psychological disturbances. It looks like tension, indulging in excessive behaviors like fresh made donuts. There's a girl down the street from my, from me who has a cupcake shop and she makes fresh made donuts and I've been going there every morning. I should stop. They're delicious though. I can't stop. Um, it says, ensure you're not being excessively hard on yourself, filling your mind and cells with negative self-talk and low energy, take measures towards self-care and explore forgiveness and self-compassion. Um, love is the secret that makes all things blossom and grow. Um, so that is interesting. And then we'll do the pentacles. Um, da, 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 da. I'm always kind of, when, when I do, we'll do the seven of pentacles jumped out along with the eight of pentacles. And I always like to refer to the book in a reading like this with a new deck, because sometimes the systems are so different from deck to deck. I hate to just fall back on rider weight, um, without really knowing. It looks like we've got some, um, some phases of the moon, some blossoming off of a cactus, <coughs> which would imply to me that you've got good things coming from some prickly situations and change and transition. Um, but it says recoup, regroup and reinvest. So I was a little off. Um, the energy of the seven of pentacles has to do with expanding your quality of life and making a conscious act of creativity and art. So that's interesting. Um, you may be questioning if your hard work and efforts have been worth the potential returns which, yeah. Um, so that's an interesting message for me. You may find that you are reflective, pursuing your decisions and actions, wondering if you, if you should have taken a different path. See this card as an affirmation that you've done everything right. Good to know. I love being right. Um, trust the trust in the intuitive leads you receive at this time. Um, I'm, I skipped a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, cause like I said, this is this is a really long, I'm not going to read this all to you. Um, but that's some good stuff. And then I also received the eight of pentacles. And that says honing your zone of genius. Um, interesting. There's a deep shift within you. Um, you're increasingly focusing your energies on becoming expert in your field of skill and interest. Um, yeah, I would say so. Um, I'm trying to get way better at tarot than I am presently. And I have been doing tons of research for the dog boutique and lots of stuff for, um, lots of stuff for the costuming. Um, but this says you know, you're going to branch out into different areas that require your time and, uh, dedication. And this is a card of craftsmanship. You are encouraged to commit fully to ventures and ignite that ignite your heart. It's an interesting card to be receiving. Um, you find that you're on the brink of something yet. It is unclear. What ask yourself some simple questions. What part of a bookshop would you beeline to what's in your browser history? What part of your day and week do you enjoy most? And then go from there. Actually, that's some, just some generally good life advice. Um, so yeah, so all of these together, I mean, I've been having a little bit of, I guess, yeah, this is a, this is a good reading. I've been having a little bit of self doubt about some of the direction that my life has been taking lately. Um, I have been probably 
doing some stuff not so much the right way, but um, it, it, overall, this is a this is a stop doubting yourself, kid. You're on the right path, and just kind of start doing some stuff that makes you feel good that you're passionate about. So this is this is actually you know aside from the nine, um, a pretty positive reading and pretty insightful for a deck that I have yet to work with. So I think this went well. Anywho, this has been a unboxing for Lumina and stay tuned. I'll do a part two video where we unbox the connected and free Oracle. And thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Oh, I got it upside down. There we go.